I have found the holy grail of Cayuga. Oh, it's shiny. Someone bedazzled it. Welcome to Cayuga. See this point? Built like a brick. Dude, pretty quick. Just call me 007. Hey, cue music. <laughs> I caught my first Cayuga bass this time and his poor lip, his bottom lip got broke. You see it? But he's healed up nice. He's real stupid. He's got a lot of hook marks in his mouth. But, and he just bit mine. We're going to let him go. Oh, she had it. <laughs> she had it in her mouth. And the kids walked in. I don't want to set the hook because she swam right over there and ate it. It's a football. Three and change, almost a four. That is a nice boulder. That is a very nice boulder. There's a bed. Golly, that's a four pounder just sitting there. Ooh, ooh, I'm marking this. Even though I don't see nothing, dude, that is a little shell spot on a boulder. You know they're gonna come back to this son of a gun. Holy crap, look at it, look how clean it is. See how light it is? I was getting all excited about those ones out there. That's nothing. This is just, look at that one cruising. It's just a scratch in the surface in here. This is wild. This is wildly good. Oh God, there's a six pounder right in front of me. A six, a freaking six. That is thickness. That's a small mouth right there. Actually, I can't even tell. That's a large, dude, they're, the large mouth are so black on their backs. Look right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well guys, it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we started out practice, I mean, just amazing. I just, I didn't go far like I always do. And I just started looking because I know they should be spawning. We have a massive full moon. And uh, started seeing, saw a three pound smallmouth to start. Then I went a little shallower, didn't see anything. Kind of went back to the same zone. I was seeing them in and just started seeing so many bass. And there's a lot of locals in that area, but I saw bass for probably almost a half a mile. It was insane. Just bass, bass everywhere. Just crazy. I, Cayuga's on another level. Then just started running around. I checked an offshore place just to keep it honest and they weren't there and went to another bay. Only saw like one or two fish and came back kind of near where I saw them and started seeing a few here and there and then found this. It's like an old road. If we look right here, there's an old road that comes out right here and they're just loaded, loaded, everywhere scattered, cruising, wolf packing. I caught my first two bass pretty quick. One was like a two and a half, and then another one was probably a four. And there's just so many bass. Terry Scroggins was trying to protect it, but it's really the only place we can fish right now with the wind. So we're gonna keep grinding. We're gonna get after it. Pit a pat of let's get at her. If I did this in a tournament, I would never get this fish. I mean, look, I can't get rid of them. That's a five pounder almost. That's a five pounder. We gotta get out of here. So I got competitors behind me right now, guys. And I just wanted to he may have saw me, he may not, but I just wanted to unhook him. He was going the other way, so I don't think he saw me, but you just don't want to draw attention to yourself, you know. This area is just fire. There's so many freaking five pounders. It's insane. And if I see them and I throw a cast to them before they know I'm there, I get one to bite it. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> this is stupid. 
<laughs> we figured it out early in practice, so you know what that means? We get to go find a bunch more of it. Let's go. We're gonna find a bunch more of it. Schools of bass in the two feet of water. It's the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It's so fun. And they're biting baby bass. They're carnivores. Look at that one on top of that rock. Oh my God, there's another school. It's a whole nother school. Look at them. They're having a full on orgy on that rock. Look at this other one coming. Well, we spotted a few anglers. They were having a rough time in the big water. There's probably four footers. They look like they're in a 17 foot bass tracker and then they look distressed. So we're gonna go check on them. I don't know what's going on, if they got motor trouble or what, but I can just tell the look of a distressed angler when I see one. You guys all right? Taking off the water. Are you? Well, you need to stop yourself from blowing too far up my forward or someone's not gonna be up. You need to stop yourself from going too much farther that way or someone might not be able to get you. It probably, you might've cracked your hole in those waves. Well, if you're taking on water and you didn't spear one, your plug either came out or you cracked your hole in the bottom. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, water don't come from nowhere, you know what I'm saying? So the question is, do you need help? Who's driving the boat? You? Are you do you want to try and follow me back to that ramp? It's two miles. Is it two miles? Yeah. Just around up here? Yeah, it's about two miles. Try to stay as close as you can behind me so I can break the waves. Well, guys, we're breaking the waves for them right now, and it's definitely helping, but you can tell they're taking on more and more water. So the nose is getting higher and higher. We're going about seven miles an hour. Well, we got maybe another mile to go. We're right at a mile. We've made it halfway. Go tie it up and bilge it, bilge it out until we can get help. Yeah. Caught a bass. They're mean, baby. He's fat. On the wacky rig, strikes again. That one was on a piece of wood right there. Came up to the only came out to the only protected place in the lake, which is the dam. And that was on a piece of wood up there. Looks like he's up there, she's up there probably trying to spawn. Little female. Nice pot belly on her, man. Hooray. We caught a bass. Smells like bass. Pound three quarters. Well, we're wrapping up day one. Luckily, we started out strong this morning before the wind got up. Found a lot of spawning fish. I think I found the best area in the lake. I really do. Um, it's weird. I've never found the best area of the lake the first morning. And after that, you're just kind of putzing around. Day two, finding bass. I'm go look for them with my eyeballs. Gotta find some more spawners. Got a good day for it, less wind. Gotta cover a lot of water, find more areas. That's it. And that's it. Oh yeah, there's a damn giant. Oh yeah. Look at that, you just go right to where you were. Put an air tag on my boat, you can follow me easier. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just fish out of the same boat this morning? Yeah. Guess what, Phil? Me and Sprague are on the same program. <laughs> oh, that's a stud muffin. Hello, stud muffin. I'm writing stud muffin. M-F-F-N. 
Dead Muffin. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit Something, something, something. Turn around. That's why I've been thinking, going back and forth. Every time I turn, I go turn around. So I just turned my forward facing sonar off just to be a little more stealthy. Not as much pinging out ahead of the boat. Let me see their little bass butts a little easier. We're looking for spawning bass. And I'm using my eyeballs, not the forward facings. I'm doing the zigzag pattern across the flats. Oh, there's a, oh my God, what a tank. That's a six pounder. That is a six pounder. Oh my God, that's the fattest one I've seen yet. Probably won't do a lot of fishing today. I'm gonna find as many areas like this as humanly possible in a day. There's a little bass. The backside of the weed edges have been the deal. Big small mouth and a large mouth. Mark. Oh yeah, we're getting around them again. <laughs> butt wipe, butt wipe. Someone took a poo. I know. Oh, another butt wipe. They're drifting this way and wiping. It's a bold move because there's houses right here, but I like the style. But if you think about, so how many fasts I've seen, like I've gone literally a mile and a half and I found one little area. And this is why when you fish down the bank, you'll go forever without catching them and then all of a sudden you catch them. It's because they live in very small percentage of the water. Oh, have I? I have. <laughs> that was a very convincing stick. I got poop. Look, there's a wine glass. Is it, is it looks like metal, doesn't it? Did we find the Holy Grail? You see it? It's shiny. I want it. How do I get it? I got anything to hook it? <clears throat> what have I found? I have found the holy grail of Cayuga. Oh, it's shiny. Someone bedazzled it. They used to drink out of this thing. Look, it's got critters growing on it. This is probably, this got zebra mussels. This is a trophy catch. This is the thing Salzy looks for. Basically, they call me a horse because I eat horse food. He's looking at it. Come here, give me your mouth. Hook just fell out. Guess what we own that northern swang, son. We own that northern swang. Look at that house, that's cool. I like it. Oh, that's not the house, that's just the outhouse. That's the house. Oh my God. Over there was like 54, over here is 58. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we saw 74 yesterday. It's crazy. It's been funky. Yeah, weird. All kinds of weird. Discrepancies across the lake. Yeah, and I don't think that season's doing them no good because there's more locals out here fishing this year than there ever was last year. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they were just camped out. Anywhere you see a bass, they're camped out. Found me something down there, man. I don't know what it is. I think it's old Piper. Old Peter Piper. A 
might come on check that thing in that derby coming up here this week we'll see yeah we gotta have a good day all my people down the ride turning up into the sky that's fast yeah i'm about to break it down Oh my god, dude. I saw some videos out there. It like the ocean. It's freaking, it was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. There's been a million boats through here because of that wind. Everybody found them. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, right now, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen, though. How many were there yesterday, anyway? Oh my God, I know. Yeah, there was a lot more than that yesterday. It was stupid. I was like, I wish the tournament was right now, God dang. <laughs> yeah, I was just wanted to... I know, I was like, I wonder how many's left over after everyone's been through here, and then I, I'm in group B, so... It's like, yeah, that'd be all good meet up for I know, dude. <laughs> so, probably the community hole, probably the best area in the lake. And then, I'm not gonna try and show all my areas, but I probably have one, two, I'm gonna say like six good areas where they're spawning which I think is enough to rotate through with the amount of anglers that we have to get a good limit of fish, so. But there's a lot of bass up, and I call them little bass orgies. There's, this is great, I've never seen this. They're not spawning. Schools of bass on little tiny pieces of cover, like a rock or a little one yard by one yard clump of grass, and there's a whole school of bass around it. It's pretty wild. So, I found a handful of those, which is so cool. A uh, handful of spots where they're just kind of living in the grass. I can see them with my eyes and I'm just going to kind of work a wacky and something finesse in there. Some smaller ones, just a scattered fish. <sighs> we have found a lot of bass on this episode of Finding Bass. We did our job. We just got to go catch them in the tournament now. But I'm going to eat this really dry oatmeal because I had to work on the boat earlier. That's crazy though, like how many threes are in here. Just solid fish. Look at you with the matching shoes. Oh, he's styling and profiling, boy. First one I pulled out. Never pull out. Look, I got him. I legit caught him. Perch. Ooh, I shouldn't have laid down. All right. Well, let's recap practice. We're headed back to the house. Um, essentially, I looked for them shallow with my eyeballs the entire time. I found fish that are spawning. I found fish that may be staged to spawn or just living in the grass shallow. Not real sure, but found a lot of bass just in this shallow scattered grass. And I caught them relatively quick when I tried. I caught them pretty decent on just a weightless wacky rig. Um, throwing it on 10 pound Yozuri Superline in high-vis yellow with a 12 pound T7 fluorocarbon braid. I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys. 12 pound fluorocarbon T7. And it did the job. It's doing a great job. Um, I think I'm gonna have two wacky rigs for the tournament. I'm gonna rig up a four inch Cinco and a five inch. Something a little different. Probably gonna rig up a Ned rig and then an eight ounce drop shot as well. That's kind of gonna be my main weapons. Fishing, these fish are pressured, man. You're gonna have to do some finesse. Might rig up a fluke as well. I've been thinking about a fluke, a little watermelon fluke. Yeah, we're just going to be running a bunch of shallow water grass lines with a lot of bass cruising around. Hopefully, we found enough stuff to be able to get five each day. Well, that's all I got, man. Should be good. Had a lot of fun doing it. Saw coolest things I've ever seen. 
a whole school of bass on one little rock, a whole school of bass on a yard and patch of grass. Crazy stuff going on on Cayuga. It's cool. I want to come back here and just catch them. If I could have just fished and tried to catch them on day one, I could have just throttled them. Like, throttled. So, we'll see how the tournament goes. And if you guys haven't already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Give me a comment below. What's the craziest shallow fish you've ever seen? A bunch of bass? A big bass? What is it?